so hi everyone uh, now we'll be discussing about roberta another variant for bert so as of now we have discussed about transformers bert and albert now it's time for robert roberta uh, so eventually what difference is it uh, what difference it is bringing in and eventually and how it is different from bert what it is improving on bert let's understand that so in roberta he will be slightly tweaking the pre training approach that was used for bert so if you remember in bert we were using mlm masked uh, modeling language and nsp next sequence prediction uh, for uh, while pre training the base model now in case of roberta we are slightly tweaking the mlm section so in mlm if you remember we were masking out a certain tokens in a particular sentence and then we are trying to predict that sentence using bert now roberta says that ki eventually if you have noticed for assume that we are training bert for 100 epochs so in that case the masked token in a particular input sentence remains the same throughout all the 100 epochs so what we are doing is that in the first uh, first of all we are masking out a token and then training it uh, and then using that input for training for the model but eventually the mask uh, token remains the same throughout the training part it never gets changed so roberta what does roberta uh, brings in is it comes with the concept of dynamic masking of tokens what is the what does this mean it says that ki for different epochs we would be masking out different tokens in the input sentence so for example if we have a sentence we arrived at the airport in time then for different uh, we can have multiple variants for this sentence that means we mask at the airport in mask so eventually you can see that in one first sentence we are masking certain token in second sentence we are masking another token and in likewise for different versions we are masking different tokens and for different epochs we are using different variant of that particular sentence hence the input remains the same but the masked token changes out a bit other minor changes that were brought in were uh, the bert model was not trained on nsp now so uh, in case of roberta we are just using ml mlm with dynamic masking of tokens and we are completely ignoring nsp that is next sequence prediction the data corpus use was even bigger batch size was also bigger and the tokenizer used in the initial state was fort piece in case of bert but we are, but here we would be using byte encoder i will be explaining these tokenizers soon in my next videos